key to the success of the lithium ion battery is the lithium inside. Hi, I'm Lewis Piper. I'm Professor of Battery Innovation here at WMG and I work on lithium ion battery research. If we look at the periodic table, lithium is a lightest and smallest metal with the highest electrochemical potential. This translates into the ability to have high energy storage in terms of weight and volume. So let's consider the key components in a lithium ion battery. Well, first off, we have to consider the active materials. So in this case, what we have is the layered oxide, which also acts as a source of lithium. And we have the graphite. And the idea is we want to take lithium from inside here and put it inside the graphite and take advantage of the electrons going on the outside. The only issue is this is still not a battery. So what we do is we make it into a slurry, basically an ink. These inks are then coated onto metal foils. And the reason for that is to give us a good distribution of the active material onto our metal foils. So here we have the positive electrode where we have coated that ink and dried it onto an aluminum foil. So this is our metal oxide, which acts as our source of lithium. On the other side, we have our negative electrode where we coated the graphite slurry and dried it onto a copper foil. The idea is we want to connect this together in a battery. This is still not the battery. The issue we have here is the concern that we generate a shawl by them touching. We need to have that physical separation. So that's where we add the separator. So we make a sandwich. And that sandwich is then wrapped into different formats. So here we have a format for a cylindrical cell, which is something you might be quite familiar with. The idea is then we take this rolled Swiss roll of our electrode negative positive sandwich, we place it into the casing. Then we can add the liquid electrolyte that allows the lithium to go back and forth between the electrodes. We also have more pouch cell style. And those pouch cell styles are ones like in your mobile phone. And in those cases, we can view them as lasagna, layers are stacked. So, Key components in our lithium ion battery are essentially these electrodes where we have our active materials. The idea is we're gonna break and reform bonds in each of these electrodes as a means of storing and releasing energy. When we charge up the battery, we're putting energy in. And what we're doing is taking lithium ions from the cathode material, the positive layered metal oxide. They're gonna break from their electron and we're gonna have lithium ions go into the bulk of the anode material and form a new compound. And at the same time, the electrons are gonna go around the circuit and reform with them in new material phases in the anode. Then when we want to release that energy, we're gonna have the reverse, the lithium and electrons moving in such a way that they return back to the cathode material. And this is what we mean by intercalation, the ability to reversibly and very easily drive lithium in and out of a host structure back and forth as a means of generating new bonds and we're breaking those bonds to release chemical energy that we use for driving our technologies such as phones, laptops, cars and household items. So this is where we mix the slurry so in these big vats here, we make a mix. That mix is then translated onto our coders. You can see the foils that we coat onto. They then come through these ovens and then we collect them as a roll down here. And we then take it to calendar and slitting instruments on this side to cut or slit the electrodes to fit the formats, like cylindrical format. And then we also use these calendar rolls to squish the electrodes back to the right density. So once the electrodes have been coated and dried and then pressed, after this stage, they are cut and stacked in the arrangements to suit the formats. We then apply the addition of electrolyte we go through what's known as a formation cycle. This is a slow process to activate the battery by 
ensuring good interfaces between the electrode and the electrolyte. And once we've got that, then when we have our form cells, these cells are then connected together to form our battery packs. And packs are what we're interested in with regards to our electric vehicles. If we consider the manufacturing considerations of current lithium ion battery technology, there's a lot of things we can do to improve. We expend a lot of energy at the moment using slurries where we have to dry them to form the right sort of electrodes. So any progress in dry electrode manufacturing will really help with reducing the carbon footprint of lithium ion battery production. The second component is if we can utilize more efficient ways in which we can form and age those batteries to improve performance. So these are two key areas where in the next decade, great strides in terms of performance and cost reduction could be achieved with those developments.